continuation of uh, the story of Samantha Jane, which is a boat we videoed a few weeks ago, where she was coming out to have some uh, new steel work done on her. She's now been out of the water a little while, and all the hull has actually been pressure washed off. And you can see we've marked up on here the position of where the sheets are actually going to be put on to the hull to give her the thickness she needs so that she's insurable. This is slightly uh, unusual and then it's got a V in the actual hull and the sheets will be cut and formed to that shape and we'll show you a bit of a video later on when they're actually being put into place. If we move along the, towards the stern of the boat we can see where we've started to do some of the work now to bring her back to an insurable condition. Um, this area at the back of the boat that we're going to have a look at is really what we call um, the counter of the boat. The counter of the boat is the area we've got just under here and you can see that on here we have tacked on a new counter area for the actual uh, thickness of the steel now to be built up to what is insurable. It's been put on here and there is an extra edge left on here as a sacrificial type of rubbing strip where you can protect the welds actually on the hull where it's going in this area to the actual hull side itself. And you can see under here on this part of the stern of the boat as it swims round towards the keel we're starting to tack on and fabricate the steel that is going to give the thickness to this area as well. As part of this boat's need for insurability the stern gear and the stern gear assembly needed to be replaced so if we look at this area under here, you can see where we've cut out the old mounting boss or the, the place where the old steel work actually was. This has been physically removed so that you can take out the shaft and the tube assembly which is in here that make up the actual stern gear assembly. On here will go your propeller which is obviously not on and there is a key in here to actually lock everything together. This area here is what is connecting to the propeller and as you can see I can turn that round and that would normally spin round with the engine and um, give you the propulsion that the boat needs. The tiller assembly on here, this one you can see is quite in good condition and you can see how close the propeller is to the actual tiller area here and the movement of the propeller in here and the water pushing against this area of the tiller and your position is what gives you the movement and the steerage of the boat. It's quite handy while we're actually under here to look at the weed hatch. This is the weed hatch area here from the underneath which is what people don't tend to see. So when you're above the water line you can actually physically have access to the propeller and anything that is actually hooked up or fouled around this area here can be accessed through this hatch here and from the top of the boat so that you don't have to actually get the boat out of the water to free up the propeller. This boat's had a new weed hatch put in which we'll show you when it's all completed um, but you can see that we've had to do some modifications to some of the skin fittings. This one here is for the exhaust um, and you have to have a clearance of 10 inches above the waterline. If we look around the stern of the boat here we can see the position of the old exhaust which ran over the top of the weed hatch which isn't really good practice. So as we're overplating the boat, we've sealed this fitting off because this, when you've got the new weight of the steel on, would be low the 10 inches of requirement for that exhaust outlet. And we've created a new one all the way up here that will actually act as the new exhaust for it, giving you that clearance so that the surveyor will be satisfied with that position. You can see this one here, it's going to be too low. This one here, the same thing. But as we put the plates on, these will be covered over. That's as far as we've got so far on Samantha Jane. I will be doing some more edited highlights 
as the project progresses so you can see how we refurbish a hall on a narrowboat.